Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's episode is about solar and more specifically about the Roy Powell 30 amp hour batteries that I purchased. So let's just say this is an open letter to the Roy Powell Corporation. I'm Stuart Gorski and welcome to my senior life. I was recently uh, watching an episode from Will Prowse's uh, fantastic solar channel. And he was talking about Roy Powell batteries. And he loved the cases and he loved that uh, they're really modern. They have the low temperature protection, uh, high temperature disconnect, all the stuff a modern battery should have. And he really did love these cases. So I was looking for a battery, I wanted a 30 to 50 amp hour battery to use for emergency communications. Put the battery inside of a Pelican rolling box, have a mobile uh, radio installed in there and do it for emergency communications. So when I went to Roy Paul, I found that they had a 30 amp hour battery, which I thought would be just perfect. So I purchased it and I received it and it worked fantastic. I was very happy with it. And I always said to myself, I'll buy another one of these if it goes on sale. So in, in the meantime, I bought a like a 6 amp hour battery from them, Roy Paul brand. And I received it and it came 0 0.01 volts. It was a bad battery. Okay, so I sent it back, no problems. And I instead, I replaced it with a Power Urus. That's the same company, but they rebranded themselves. New cases and stuff like that. So I got that battery, it came in, and it was terrific, fantastic. Moving forward, this battery came on sale for a lot less money. So I said, okay, I'm going to bite, and I ordered it, and I got it. And it took uh, two or three days and it came in and the battery came with 0 0.07 volts and it was not recoverable and it was good. So I contacted Amazon, I contacted Power, uh, excuse me, uh, Roy Powell and they said I could return it and I had to print out a, uh, a, a packing slip. Well, the packing slip came I had to pay for returning it. I was like, what the heck is all that about? So I contacted them and I did a little chat online with the Roy Paul people, a lady by the name of Lucy. And she's and I told her, look, if you wanna send me a new one, I'd be happy with a new one instead of replacing this. So she said, let me see what I can do for you. So I wait two or three days and all of a sudden, without any warning, I get a package uh, that comes in with another one of these batteries. Uh, there was nothing about returning the first one, but they sent me this one. I checked this one out and it, I turned it on and it's got 12.4 uh, volts. Right now it says 12.3. And I said, okay, this is gonna be good. It's gonna take a charge. Well, I put it on a, a Victron uh, charger and it won't take any amperage. It's just, it will raise the voltage to 14.2 volts, but no power going into the battery. I tried another uh, Victron solar charger and it did the same exact thing. So again, this battery is bad. So right after I'm talking to you now, I'm gonna show you the process I did to test it. Watch. This is the second Roy Powell uh, 30 amp hour battery you've just sent me. I put a meter on it and this one says 12.41 volts. The first one you sent me showed 0.7 volts, 0.7, which is too low to recover. So this one says 0.1241, which means it should take a charge and probably be okay. Here is a Victron Blue Smart Charger. It's a very high-end charger, okay? This works fantastic. Right now, it's plugged in and to a chintz battery, and you can see it's already at 14 volts. You can see it on the right, and it's taking 12.62 amps right now. So it's charging perfectly. 
So I've now plugged the second uh, 30 amp hour battery that you sent me. And it's plugged into my same blue smart charger. Again, this is a very high end charger. And my meter says it's already up to 14.15 volts, but it's going no amps whatsoever. And this is putting around 15 amps. It's supposed to be putting at this point, uh, I've set it to about 15 amps and it's taking nothing. There's no amperage going in, but it did read the voltage. So the voltage, what you're seeing is actually reading the, uh, the uh, power supply, not the battery. And here's the meter that's on the battery. It's saying 14.21, and it's basically what this meter here is saying that's coming from the uh, charger. Now, if I unplug this, let's unplug it. Bear with me a second here. So now I have unplugged the unit from the charger, and you can see this already drops down to 12.23 volts. You see the uh, voltmeter it says 12.27 volts so it's not up with it was at 14 while the charger was turned on uh, but again it's unplugged so we're back to about the 12.2 volts this battery is defective they the first battery they sent me was at a 0.7 volts and it would take no charge so this is the replacement one and it shows 12.27 amps but it still will not take a charge. My system is very good. This is a very good system. Um, I've also plugged it in to a regular solar charge controller and I got the exact same results. Uh, the state, the battery number on the back of this one is actually older than the first one you sent me. Uh, you're sending me old batteries and somebody may have plugged this in and saw some voltage, but they never put anything to it to see if it would take a current. So again, uh, this is the second battery you sent me and this is a complete failure. Thanks for uh, watching my video, everybody. Roy Powell, I hope you're gonna see this video. Uh, very unhappy customer. You're not checking your stuff that's going out. This is obviously older stock. You could do a better job than this. So everybody, this is Stuart Gorski, my senior life. Be well, everybody.